questions to ask when getting to know a potential love interest? Uh, what's your astrology sign? <laughs> Well, actually, re related to uh, asking about somebody's zodiac sign, yeah. doesn't that give false expectations? Um, no, they are true every time. Hundred percent. Oh, hundred percent. You know, this belief in magic thinking is so insane, dude. When people have no strong traditions, boundaries weren't instilled in them, they're lacking self-respect and self-esteem. They fall prey to these ideologies that are literally as dumb as astrology, dude. It's kind of nuts that you could be in a, a grown adult in this day and age, that you could be in this day and age, bro, and believe in some shit like astrology. I mean, how? This is part of the hive mind, the group think that they're susceptible to. It's insane, isn't it? That when you go on a date, an adult human being can literally go, I'm an asparagus in Gatorade. That means we're not matching. We're 37% compatible. Sorry, but this isn't gonna work out. Imagine saying some shit like that and really believing it. That's modern women today. Isn't that nuts? Look at crazy eyes. Like maybe 99, but like really close. You trust a Leo and then boom, they're self-absorbed. Bam. <laughs> well, no, I'm just saying because a lot, a lot of people say, you know, you can't generalize because everyone's different. And I would just wonder why people would ask about That's, Zodiac I signs. think everyone's different except for as well as I think that's why everyone's the same. I, so. <laughs> I feel like they want to see if they're compatible. A lot of people are and believe in the whole zodiac sign. I tend to do that as well. Oh my God. I'm just into like this mystical stuff, magical stuff. And I feel like a lot of females are. See, this is what happens when religion has died in the West. We now believe in shit like this. At least there was, you know, the, the pillars of religion, you know, the golden rules, all that stuff makes you at least a good person. Like, what the fuck are you learning from? reading some app telling you about how compatible you are with somebody or today you're going to wake up and experience some hardship, but you're strong. Mercury is in Gatorade. You will be okay. Pay us $4.99 to keep the app going to unlock more premium content about your Zodiac sign. It's a finesse, dude. There's people that are so dumb. They love to get finessed. They'll pay to get finessed. It's like, it's a way for them to cope with their mundane lives. Like you have nothing going on for yourself and so, and one way to soothe yourself is to get fed bullshit and you'll pay to get fed bullshit. It's like those chicks on TikTok. I know me and Sophie covered it. They have these fucking sticks, dude. The dowsing rods used to find water or whatever underground. They're literally clinging rods together and telling people, yes, your boyfriend is going to leave you. No, you're not pregnant. And people are buying super chats or whatever in the TikTok as the live stream is going there. People are insane. You know, painting a picture of what can potentially be there, whether it's showable or not, but. Do you think Do you think it gives false expectations? Definitely. So why, <laughs> Definitely. why do it? I don't know. It's just, it's just about something about having hope. You know what I mean? Something about having. That's deep. Hope. A lot of people don't have any hope these days. That's real. A lot of people are clinging on to false beliefs, all this like magical thinking, etc., just to find their own place in the world. Nobody knows shit. We identify as a million things, right? Look at the world we live in, dude. Explain to me what a man is today when everything you're being told, toxic masculinity, all this stuff, everything you are is an affront to society today. Everything women are in society today is being turned on its head too. <laughs> I mean, look at the conversation in the mainstream. Women's spaces are being evaporated at like an insane pace today. And you can't even talk about it. Even other women that go, hey, dude, I don't feel right about what's going on. Canceled. Having something that you can reach for, that you can have, you See? know, look forward to, have faith in. Because oh, yeah, they believe right. in astrology. They believe in the planets. They believe in the crystals. They believe yeah. in the science. And you know what? Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Do you think it gives false expectations? I 100% believe it gives false expectations because everyone says the sign, the crystal gives this energy, the sign gives this, this momentum. No, it doesn't. It's all right here in your head. It's belief. It's what you believe you shall receive. Why Preach. when you're single, you long for a relationship, but when you're in a relationship, you long for your freedom? Hmm, good question. Uh, you long for your freedom. I would have to say, um, now in these days, in this generation, people get 
uh, so insecure when it comes to social media. Because you have some honeymoon phase. That's all it is. The instant gratification that we're being programmed for in society today is manifesting in literally that. Once the honeymoon phase is over and, you know, the hardship of a relationship sprouts its head, people bail immediately. This is why when they get into a relationship, the first few months, they're so happy. Boom. Honeymoon phase over. Swipe right. Another one. Another one. Got a match. That's why relationships these days don't really exist, dude. We're in something called situationships. That's the dating culture today. People don't put labels on shit because they're always looking for a backup, always expecting that in a few months they're going to have problems. I'm going to find out who this person really is in a couple of months. No, that's just you getting over being infatuated with somebody because it's from a lust point of view. People are meeting today just on how hot they are on a dating profile. It's not like the way we used to where you had to get to know somebody. Your family may have known their family. Sometimes you grew up with these people, lived in the same small town. You know these as people. You know their character, who they are, what they believe in, etc. Now, nothing, bro. It's a profile. It's straight up attraction. It's lust. So, of course, after the lust phase goes away, they're jumping ship. Exactly. Nuts, dude. They can't see it. Like, young people are so lost. Something and you're like, oh, I want that. And then you have it and you're like, no, I want that. Exactly. If that makes sense. You want what you don't have. Is it human nature to never be satisfied? I think so. Yes. Because it, it's like, once you get something that you want, you want more. So you're never fully satisfied for it. It is human nature. I think as humans... You know, we're constantly, you know, corrupted by social media and it tends to program us into thinking else. Do you think, do you think social media is inherently bad or a symptom of a larger problem? Social media can be good. It has its goods, it has its uh, good and bads. Uh, it's, it's a good way to connect to people and, you know, learn from one another. But it can be very toxic and bad with the programming and the beauty when it comes to beauty. And yeah, it's just, it's bad for the society sometimes, I believe. Is it human nature to never be satisfied? Yes. Um, it's because Instagram. Yeah. Because everybody's looking everyone at, has fake, comparing to self. Yeah, everyone has like fake expectations. Yeah, so. these expectations are crazy. Yeah. yeah. What are the top three questions to ask when getting to know a potential love interest? What are questions what do, to what ask? What do you do? Yeah, what do you do for work? How much money do you make? <laughs> <laughs> How much money you make? <laughs> What's your zodiac sign? And these are the ones that are going to be on TikTok in five, ten years talking about, I hate men so much. I'm just going to buy cats and die alone. I'm sick of this. I want a real man. <laughs> why do you think Why do you think that uh, would be the number one question? Because we got to know if we're going to be because with Because me and her, huh? we, we make some money. money. So yeah, we make, make some, some money. money. <laughs> so you got to add it up. Like we... I want to equal. Yeah. I want or, equal. or you can you can make Or it's more. either you're a boss to have beliefs or you two bosses, right? Yeah. Yeah. Why is it in the age of independent women, a man's value is often determined by what he provides? Because mm. I kind of feel like God, I mean, men were put on this earth to provide, were they not? Yeah, wasn't it? Ain't that the, uh, <laughs> ain't that in the Bible? Like, so, so what were, okay, what were women put on this earth to do? <laughs> to make babies. Coochie. Yeah, we're supposed to make babies, <laughs> sit at home, and spend the money. <laughs> but we work, we work, we're smart, educated We work, women, but, you know. But do we want Why to? No. Okay, um, do you know more people who enjoy dating or who complain about dating? Bruh. Uh, complain. Why? Complain about dating. Um, because <laughs> usually the person that they're in a relationship with, they're like not loyal or just like doesn't commit to what they really actually want. Why is it when you're single, you want to be in a relationship and when you're in a relationship, you long for your freedom? Um, I guess because when you're single, you're just like lonely. Um, and then when you're in a relationship, it's like once you're in a relationship and you un actually understand the person that you're with, you actually pr might get annoyed by the person. That's why there it you is. need to become friends with the person first and then continue to be into a relationship. Okay, but then what about that dreaded friend zone that a lot of guys complain about getting stuck in? I don't even know. I couldn't nah. even tell you. <laughs> well, okay, but I'm just saying a lot of people say you should be friends first, and I'm saying shouldn't you establish some kind of sexual interest right, for, right off the bat? No, I don't think so. I feel like you should know the person like first, like you should understand what their character is and how they move. Um. 
Um, unfortunately, reality is if a guy that was like a Brad Pitt type to a woman like this came up on her and showed interest, all that, um, uh, let's be friends first shit would disappear in a second. Okay, it's the dual mating strategy. If you're hot enough, if you're the, if you're the right guy at the right time, at the right place, you're getting it in, period. High value men aren't made to wait. Alphas don't get rules put on them. High value men, whatever you want to call it, select men, anything. Men of status. There's no rules for them. The rules are put in place for average men, for what they consider creeps, losers. That's the guy that has to jump through hoops, all sorts of rings. He's got to prove himself for her to open up her legs. But if the guy that's already pre-selected comes up to her, he doesn't have to prove anything. There's no hoop to jump through. She's just opening it up. Done. Again, this is why, like with the dating coach from the prior video, it's insane that women are trying to give men advice on dating when they have not the slightest clue on how the world really works in the dating market. <laughs> I don't oh, yeah, think yeah, you yeah. should just go right towards sex. The sex, it's always going to be there. I'm 33. Whenever I'm 43, we're going to have sex. Whenever I'm 53, we're going to have sex. Whenever I'm 63, we're going to have sex. Is there a difference between the dating advice that men get versus the dating advice that women get? Yeah. yeah. What yeah. is the difference? Girls are like, oh, like, let's settle down. Like, blah, blah, blah. And guys are like, okay, just hit and then go. Like, <laughs> literally. That's so, the advice. So, so basically, uh, men teach each other how to get laid and women teach each other how to get relationships? Yeah, yeah definitely. Interesting. So then doesn't that prove that men and women have different goals in dating? Yeah, yeah. like 100%. 100, like, mostly speaking. Like, definitely some people There's are different, some, but... Like, good good guys but for sure. yeah a lot of that. is it harder for a man to get the woman he wants into bed or for a woman to get the man she wants to commit women to commit that one yeah i think commit, i think so in my one. personal experience personal, so, so yeah, you personal think it's harder experience. so you think it's harder for women to get men to commit yeah, personal yeah. Experience, yeah. but don't women so. typically expect a man to commit before she's willing to give him sex depends if times depends. are changing times are changing it, it used yeah. to, yes. Now, now it's like you can like people just it's sleep with quite whoever. Easier. That's that female sexual empowerment, bro. It's not empowering at all. It devalues you in the eyes of men that are trying to find a wife. Why would you commit to the town bicycle that's getting rode by everybody? It's in, it's nuts. I would never go black pill, dude. Ever. I don't have the mentality to just give up on life like that. Well, people yeah. say to me, like, now it's like a hookup culture, yeah. but yes. doesn't that but doesn't that typically only apply to the right men, not all men? Uh, uh -huh. no, all men. Uh, pretty much all men, but probably, I guess, maybe there's some good ones out there. Okay. You know, if you know any, like, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I'm looking. <laughs> like, I'm <laughs> just All right, how about this? Um, if you happen to be looking for a quality man, where would you expect to find one? Uh, like, school, I school. think is a good one. Because they're, like, focused and driven. They, they like, have think, goals. They have goals, like, in goals. life. Like, that would yes. be good, I think. Good guy. You're always looking for the good guy. You know, yeah, you know, I think it's a... Like the perfect Prince Charming. So, doesn't that prove that men and women have different goals in dating? Yeah. Yeah, I think... Bottom line, yeah. Yeah, I think we definitely have different goals in what we if, do. If either of you were looking for a quality man, where would you expect to find one? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I would definitely. S Not a fucking dating app, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Women aren't taught about holding on to men. They literally do the hypersexualized, objectifying myself, get their boobs out, wear tights, you know, clothes that are very revealing, hug the body. They're only trained on the front, not the back end. They don't teach themselves how to keep a man catering to a man being his peace being supportive helping him with work helping it like being his secretary doing all this stuff to make yourself irreplaceable in his eyes not none of that you're just how much money you make like they said earlier so i could just sit at home and chill and be provided for but there's a tit for tat here like if i'm gonna provide for you you have to do all those other things like Modern women today don't understand what real women did and used to do. Like, house has to be absolutely spotless. I remember in my house, there was not a fucking crumb on the ground. You could eat off the ground. It was so clean. All food was made from scratch, even the bread. Didn't buy that shit at the store. Dough was kneaded, 
everything, flour, all that stuff, baked, it smelled fresh in the house, everything clean, we saved money on food, always had a meal ready, went to work with my dad at five in the morning, my mom was already up cooking a meal, made us breakfast, and packed our lunches for work with snacks, with fruits, with everything, full course meal while we're at work, drinks, everything ready in the cooler, off our way. When we came home, everything was spotless, the next meal was ready, everything. And that setup was amazing. It allowed my dad to go further than he could have by himself. They did well. She didn't have to go slave away for some corporate job making pennies on the dollar where the IRS is keeping most of your shit and the greedy business owner. She got to raise me. Turned out all right. Didn't have to put your kids through what? Have a babysitter at home or pay thousands of dollars to take them to some daycare where you know they're watching 30 other kids? And some God knows what is happening. You're going to find out, oh my God, we hired the wrong person. And they were like slapping up your kid or some crazy shit like that. You got to constantly check in, bro. The It won't let you the anxiety. You got to check in on camera how your kid's doing and who's handling them and what's happening. Constantly calling all the time. Why? It's, it's nuts, dude. When, men, when strong women and strong men come together, they create strong families that can alter the neighborhood they live in, the town they live in, the state down to the country you can affect real world change and people have something to live for something to die for but t there's too much selfishness in the world today especially in the west well mostly in the west where traditional gender norms are seen as poison setting us back sis i don't want to be a slave for a man all this insane shit that's getting drilled in their head become hypersexual lead with your body in the same manner that me men lead with their wallet just so you can get used Women lead with their bodies today. That's the female simp version, essentially. They simp to Chad's by leading with their bodies. Chad gets what he wants, then takes off. It's the same way a male simp leads with his wallet, gives her resources, hoping he gets laid, and then she walks away with everything she got. It's the same game, bro. I say the gym or church for me. See, I Gym. would probably say church or like I think a grocery store would be prime. I think a lot of the dating advice nowadays is find a man who's rich and that's going to spoil you. That's all I hear from women nowadays uh, working for the club scene. But when it comes to men, I would honestly have to say focus on yourself, work on building an empire for yourself and then settle down for a woman because most of these ladies... Uh, especially in Hollywood, California, or in Vegas, you find a woman and they're most likely just going to want to go for you for your money and not because of love. A lot of women now, as of right now, they're looking for a guy that's established so they could uh, tie themselves to his success. Because women are hypergamous in nature. They always aim for high status individuals and they want to live a higher lifestyle. Why are so many women obsessed with collecting expensive shoes and handbags? Status. Hypergamous nature. Men, men are success objects. Women are, are beauty objects. Before social media, everything was like more genuine and then you could get to know a person better. But right now we have apps like Tinder and shit like that. And it's like, oh, you want to fuck? Yes or no. And then it turns into that and then they never be. You see, and she's telling on herself when she says, and we have apps like Tinder and it's you want to have sex or not. That's her experience with Tinder, literally. And if it's the right guy, it's a yes. And of course, that's very shallow. They're not happy. They're trying to sleep around the way men do. And they're not happy on a deeper level. A woman has to open up emotionally to sleep with a man and enjoy sex. A man doesn't. He's just getting it in, dude. Women can't understand this part of the game. They think, oh, but if a man does it, why can't I? Hmm. I wonder, have the older women after you been telling you on TikTok, the 30 plus, dating after 30, dating after 40, what awaits you? Date with intention. Find a man. Build a life together, sis. It doesn't get easier as you get older. It's not easier to get pregnant. You don't want to go into the office and have to do in vitro shots constantly. You don't want to go and get a surrogate. You don't want to pay for all this shit. It's tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars. Where are you going to get the money? You're going to burden your man because you waited? Is a man even going to want to get with you because he has to now have a, a 100K extra expense for his older empowered woman that knows what she wants? That's his reward for getting an older empowered woman?
a hundred a mortgage on the top of his head. Or you could just get a younger woman that is smart enough because some women are still raised with traditional families with strong father figures who've taught them and instilled in them real self-esteem where they don't have to look outside of themselves essentially sleeping with men to feel better about themselves it's a form of them coping they need attention to feel worthy to feel like they're valuable that's why they're racking up the body counts these days most women have a like not much to offer bro what most women do is they sleep with men because they have horrible self-esteem and that gives them like a shot of dopamine because they think they're wanted but all a man's doing is getting his pipe wet and bouncing and then a, the dopamine disappears as quick as a guy walks out of the bedroom and he does not text her anymore and he's a ghost and he's an asshole i'm sick of men dating apps are making me depressed oh i gotta post even more risque pictures on social media because the likes are going down society's getting hyper sexualized a normal picture in a bikini don't do it anymore now i gotta pose in a you know suggestive manner i gotta take more clothes off gotta have an only fans link nowadays it's getting worse for them. It becomes into a relationship. And because it starts like that, I feel like it turns into these toxic, like, dumb relationships, I guess. It's I, not, like, realistic. Do you think that dating apps have killed romance? Yes. I don't want to say yes, but I feel like it has more towards that way than actually creating romance. I feel like it's kind of hard to find romance through social media because I feel like it's all very fake in a way. In today's society, you got Bumble, you got Tinder, you got plenty of fish. You can match with the girl on a Wednesday and get her in bed on a Friday. But doesn't that typically only apply to F boys? No. No, you get her on a date Wednesday, bed her on Wednesday night. They don't make you wait anymore, dude. That's that has passed. The competition is insane. Women for quote men of value, they don't wait at all, bro. They lead with their bodies. You're getting it in on that night. Thanks for the 10 Orlando. Keep up uh keep keep up doing what you're uh what did you write? Keep doing what you're doing for our generation of young kings. No doubt, dude. Thank you so much for the 10. Back to this insanity no it doesn't you don't even have to try you can say hey let's go on a date this friday i'll take you out to sushi get let's get some sake in us and before you know it, she's at your house and you're getting it off you can skip the sushi come over my house or what is it a uh, vaping and chill these days i got the hookah at my house roll up bring a pizza don't women typically make a man wait or commit before she'll give him sex no 100 percent don't the ones that say if a woman tells you i'm not giving it to you the first night she's gonna give it to you the first night <laughs> generally the 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 women that give it to you the first night they're better to date the one the woman that wants you wants you to work for it they're gonna be a pain in the ass later what does a woman have to do to get commitment have sex with you on the first date what God. does a woman have to do to get sex nothing just take he lost it at the end <laughs> it's all right though he's he's deep in the dating game that's what tinder is for him to get to commit to a woman she has to put out and that's the effect men, that's that's the effect that it's having on men that if this chick's not putting out day one she must not like me i'm out of here and then you get you start to pass up women that are actually good because regardless there might be some good women on tinder maybe and they have these hard rules of making every, anybody wait. Or if you meet any other woman somewhere more organically and she's the type that'll say, no, nah, I'm going to wait. You're going to take that as she's a bitch. Every other chick sleeping with me. Why do I got to go through all these hoops? And that's just her having some standards and self-esteem. But you wouldn't know that because you're used to it just coming often. Any chick you take out to a date, sushi, bang, sushi, bang, done. It's nuts, dude. It's they're rare, but they are out there. And unfortunately, the red pill goggles we have on with the dating culture, it's hard to see them because they get placed into all women are X, Y, Z. It happens, dude. You can be jaded if you fall down the rabbit hole deep enough. Take them on a date. What does a woman have to do to get commitment? Uh, not like with old sex, but like 
Or I don't know. Like if like if you really click with a person, I think like a commitment will just happen. But yes, withhold but sex. But like withhold sex. <laughs> okay, and what does a man have to do to get a woman into bed? Uh, Be everything. I don't know. Or like no, sorry. Well, first, with these two, he's got to be an asparagus in retrograde first. And once he's that, he's got to make millions of dollars. He's got to be six feet, got to have a six pack, six inch pipe, six, 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 six across the board, boys. Now I hear it's even higher. You got to be minimum six, four. Um, maybe like. So that she gets what she wants first, right? Um, yeah, we come first. We try. We, we, come we first. try. I think, so. yeah. Except in bed, then women, men come first. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Except in bed, then then men will come first. Some yeah. women, some women, not at all. <laughs> Honestly, I don't think you could do shit to no, get commitment. I think, no, yeah. It has to be the man. We if come he's... across people who cheat all the time. Yeah. Okay, yeah. and what does yeah. a man have to do to get sex? <laughs> Pay for <laughs> it. <Being> nice. <laughs> what? These ones are working in uh, the adult entertainment industry. That laugh tells you everything you need to know. What's a man got to do to get laid? Whip out the Benjis. Why, why does a man typically have to be the first one to give? Because that's what you're here. You missed the part about it's in the Bible that it says yeah. men are here to provide. Yeah. I am bisexual. You might buy me something, I might get sexual. How should a guy know if what? a girl genuinely <laughs> likes him or if she just wants attention? Okay, that's a, that's a great question. Easily. If you have to spend money on a woman, she's not the one. If you can go hang out with her and just spend quality time, that's a wonderful woman. I definitely know girls who like just want attention from it's, guys. It's hard like, to tell because it's really easily confused, I yeah. find. Because mm -hmm. once they get attention, I don't even know when I want a relationship or and when, when I, I want, want atten attention. Like the girls don't even know. And then you're like, oh, no. And yet we have a dating coach that's going to tell us how to get women. When two women just told us. They don't even know when they want a, to date or they want to hook up. It's whatever, dude. It's kind of like the feeling in the moment or the horoscope I read the day I wake up. That's what it is. Oh, my God. Oh, never mind. I was just bored I was just or whatever. Bored. Yeah. yeah, it was that or like box dye in my like hair. I so, like, I don't know. <laughs> I guess just how much she puts into the relationship. Yeah. Like, if she's, like, always, like trying to like yeah. receive kind of but also like, of, like giving yeah. but like if she has that much free time to like waste like on a guy like so go for her anyways women often use the expression i'm worth it what exactly does that mean that yeah i'm worth the the time the yeah. effort the arguments the, money, the toxic everything all I'm that worth i'm all worth of all of it why don't you typically hear men using that expression because they're not worth they're it they're not all they got all is they got is dick and lie a wee wee <laughs> Why do so many women think they have the golden pussy when every woman has one? Because um, some of them feel different. I heard they feel grainy on the yeah, inside. Yeah, some, some of them ain't grainy. golden. Some of them yeah, think some they ain't got that wop. <laughs> they got that wop. They got that dry stank stank. <laughs> Bro, these two are, oh my God. Toxic femininity at its finest. Completely clueless with relationships. They do not have the golden piece leave either. I hear it's grainy. I don't see a ring on your finger. No man is trying to hook up with you for the rest of his life. Do you not see this? These two are working in Vegas on the streets, baby, in that nightlife. And they're spitting some red pill truths. They like, this is what women believe, dude, that they're God's gift to earth, that literally you're lucky to be in a relationship, that they're worth the headache. They're worth commitment. But what do they bring, you know, back to you? Nothing. You ain't shit. All you got is a wee wee. You should be paying for me. You should be providing to me. All this other stuff, right? It's a one way. <laughs> Is there a difference between women who grew up with brothers versus women who grew up with sisters? Yes. Big time. Yeah. I think so. I grew up with brother and she grew up with a sister. So I think we're very different. Yeah. And, and what's Definitely. the difference? I'm, I think I'm more competitive. Definitely. And like more like assertive. Definitely. Because I've had like always like fight for like. Stuff. I feel like sisters Although you're have very more feisty. Like, uh, yes. Very feisty, this one. Sisters have more like a on and off toxic relationship <gasps> than brothers and sisters. And then like that's what she looks for in like relationships. <laughs> and then I look like for like the steady, like Whoa. always there. Oh, that's really weird. <laughs> I never realized that before. <laughs> is, is it Whoa. safe? Is it safe? And this, this is something super important to think about. 
I was uh, trying to formulate this thought. Birth order and brothers and sisters, their effects on dating and relationships, it's something we don't discuss anymore. Like being the firstborn or being the middle or the, the youngest and being born into a family of mostly boys or mostly girls or mixed, right? Apart from how your parents treat you has a huge effect on how you are in your relationship with your partner, the boundaries you have, if you're willing to get walked all over or the things you put up with, man. I think for men, it's super important that you find a woman that has brothers and sisters simply for the fact that the experience of growing up with the opposite gender, but also being in a position where she had to take care of the younger ones or deal with older ones gives her such a life experience that makes her far more compatible to say marriage, to dealing with problems, to working on issues. You know, when something comes up, she knows how to handle her business versus somebody that's spoiled, say an only child that parents were either gone. So they got neglected or got everything they ever wanted because the parents felt, you know, bad about having to work all the time and the help was watching the kid or constantly at school. Like, you know what I mean? You have to find these people that are well-rounded characters. It's harder today. Think about it. Back in the day, every family used to have something like three kids, four kids, five kids. Sometimes you heard people with like damn near 10 kids, 12 kids in a family. Like vast majority of households in America today are single one child 30 percent of us only have one parent in the household and now you're asking for you know i have four brothers three sisters and trying to get a balanced individual that grew up around all those so different man versus dating a woman that daddy spoiled her my only little princess she was the only child daddy gave her everything he ever wanted beta bob and then now you're going to get into a relationship with a woman like that psychologically has that profile and you're shocked it doesn't work it's nuts this is something like i want to flesh out more I'm, I'm sure there's books that talk about the effects of being first born on a kid growing up you know they tend to be perfectionists the effects of being the second child third what it means to have older brothers or sisters for your boundaries how you view men you know being a woman etc that has like an incredible amount of importance that we're not placing at all we just kind of think, oh, whatever, you meet this person again, the lust phase stuff. We're not looking that deep, man. Families used to matter for relationships. We used to come together on a date and ask, like, you got brothers, you got sisters? How close are you to your family? That was like a, a very big question to ask somebody. It'd be a huge red flag, essentially. If you went on a date with a woman and she goes, mm, got no family, we're not really that close don't care for my brothers and sisters like that. Something's wrong when you're not close to family. It's like, how does that bode for hours if we go and create one? It's changed dramatically, dude. Is it safe to assume women who had brothers will have a better understanding of men? Yes. yes. Definitely. And I think Depends the same on your relationship with yeah, your brother. That's so true. But yeah. And I think the same goes for guys like guys who have sisters. Like, understand. understand, like, 100% better. Understand women better. Understand women better and, like, how to get what they, or not, like, yeah, what the girls want and stuff like that, yeah. I think. Well, wouldn't, wouldn't wouldn't that make them better dating prospects? 100%. 100%. Boys with sisters? Boys with sisters. So shouldn't that be one of the first questions asked? Oh. Do, oh, that's really good. We're adding that to our question. You're giving it's, us it's, dating advice yeah, at this point. It's, <laughs> it's zodiac signs and do you have sisters? And the top two right there. Z zodiac signs. I would signs. definitely say one of them is what is your music taste? I feel like if we don't have the same music, it can kind of go. I would say also music and then humor. Like if you're on the, not like the same sense of humor. Look how clueless women are, dude. What is going on? How about you ask what's your relationship like with your mother? That's the number one question. Do you have sisters? What's your relationship with them? That's what you should be asking him. The way he treats his mother is a similar way you're going to get treated, perhaps. Nah, bro, what's your zodiac sign? What do you do for work? What music are you into? Yes. Stunning questions, empowered queen. This is really going to give you insight into your future relationship with this man. Fucking hell. Humor, we won't get along. If they're family oriented, what do they have a passion for and where do they see themselves in five years? 
When it comes time to marriage, women get who they can, men get who they want. Right, but when yeah. it comes to sex, women sleep men, with... Men get who they can. can and women get who they want. Right, so at the end of the day, can we agree that women are the gatekeepers of sex and men yes, are the gatekeepers of commitment? The, hello, yeah. put your burden to work. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you already... Does that, mean that men, does that mean that men get the last laugh, though? Yeah, they do at the end. For the most well, part. Well, unless we marry, like, an old man. Yeah, and we get the last like, laugh. yeah, honestly. Yeah. It just depends. If it's, like, genuine, usually they do. But, but, but also, not. I mean, yeah. do, don't women typically make a man wait or commit before she'll give him sex? <laughs> no. It depends on how much money. <laughs> <laughs> honestly, no. <laughs> Did you catch that? Do women make a man wait? And her answer is depending on how much money he's got. She's telling on herself. I haven't seen this one. I don't remember seeing this one, but I'm telling you, they're in the street life. <laughs> the signs are all there. Somebody's going to put rings on these women. I guarantee you. I always put it like this. If you want to rush into my pants, I'm going to rush into your pockets. Is it men's? Oh, we. Oui. Hey, I got nothing but respect. If she can <laughs> spit it like that, it's factual. You want to rush into her pants? Got to reach deep in your wallet. Fault that gold diggers exist. Absolutely, no. yes, yes, I think so. Do men enable women's bad behavior? Sure, but I think yes. that's also within our human nature. Like it, yeah, it's, it's within just, women, women's women's nature and honestly. and men's nature though. For sure. Is it women's fault that men are dogs? No, no. Is it women's fault that men are dogs? No, that's just human nature, animal instinct. Do women enable men's bad behavior? Yes. Fuck yeah. yeah. Are you kidding me? By, Are by you kidding spitting, me? By, by spitting... Pro like, provocative spitting clothing, they know exactly... Time, yeah. yeah. Come on. Come on. Do men and women enable each other's bad behavior? Do men and women enable each other's bad behavior? To a degree, yeah, most definitely. We do enable each other. Why are men more likely to be publicly shamed for being dogs than women are shamed for being gold diggers? As of today, a lot of women is getting publicly shamed now. Times have changed a lot. Why are no. men shamed for exercising their options, but women aren't? No, bro. Here's a perfect example. Women are not getting shamed. Cardi B can say she drugged men, did all this stuff, robbed them. No canceling. New albums coming out, new songs coming out. Nothing happened. Not a goddamn thing. An accusation gets lobbied with no proof. So that one was self-admitted. An accusation gets lobbied at, uh, who was it? Who's the, the Hollywood thing going on right now? Johnny Depp, right, by Amber Heard. The man lost his job. He got blacklisted in Hollywood. He lost the biggest franchise he had, the Pirates of the Caribbean. Then he had to go through this long court process where he had proof, phone calls, etc. During the proceedings, all the news outlets were still painting him as evil and like that Amber Heard was hanging on by a string and what a brave strong independent woman she is for facing this monster and while there's phone calls of saying she was doing all these things to him isn't that insane that's called a double standard and it exists in society today more than it ever has you you have to do the pence rule man you cannot be alone with women anywhere if you have something that can get taken from you if you're in a good financial position if you have any sort of fame or infamy you can get set up by these chicks. There's a book, fellas. I posted on the community uh, thread that book, How to Destroy a Man. You're a target. You can get blackmailed, dude. It only takes one accusation. Um, a lot of people is looking for a man with less confidence that don't know himself that well. He should definitely exercise his options. Why are men more likely to be publicly shamed for being dogs than women are shamed for being gold diggers? Because we live in a feminist society. And we live, a bit, live by the feminist narrative. Drop the mic. Is it men's fault that gold diggers exist? Nailed it. Yes. Do men enable women's bad behavior? Yes. Is it women's fault that men are dogs? Yes and no. And yes. Oh my God, Ab, you're insane, dude. Thank you so much for the 100. Continue coaching your man and don't forget to be an example, Bo. Thank you. Young men, continue coaching young men. Thank you, brother. <laughs> Do women enable men's bad behavior? Of course, we all enable each other's bad behavior and it's getting worse. 
Why are men more likely to be publicly shamed for being dogs than women are shamed for being gold diggers? I don't agree if that's the case. I think men are rewarded for being dogs. Look at uh, Charlie Sheen, uh, Hugh Hefner. I mean, they're rewarded for being, but a woman who does the same thing is what? Shamed. So uh, you get the point. How are people not getting, I mean, I guess that wasn't as recent with the Johnny Depp stuff happening, but yeah, the double standards, man, are real.